Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Lynx Sniper Rifle buff. And if you're wondering what in the world gun that is I'm using right there, that's actually the Lynx Sniper Rifle, but with the iron sight attachment on it. Going to do very good here with that setup, and for good reason. We'll talk about why later. But for now, let's talk about the stats on the new Lynx. So the buff to the Lynx was not a damage increase or a range increase or a silencer rework or any of the things like that. What it got was a massive recoil reduction. Almost every single recoil parameter of this weapon was changed, so it's pretty much a complete rework on the feel of the weapon. It still has the same thing to where it two-shot kills everywhere except for the head, and if you run a silencer, it's still two-shot kills everywhere except you need two shots to the head. Just thought I'd throw that out here in the beginning, that's why I'm running a silencer. But let's talk about the recoil reductions. First of all, the center speed was increased from 1,000 to 2,000. If you don't remember from the good old Black Ops 2 days, where we talked about this a lot with the foregrip, the center speed is how quickly your gun comes back to rest after each shot. So this means that it comes back to rest twice as fast as it did before, so you're going to get much faster recentering, which is very good. The left and right kick were completely removed. It used to kind of kick left and right a little bit. Those numbers are set to zero now, so now it has zero left or right kick whatsoever, which is really strong. Now, it still does have some idle sway, but that's not the same thing as left or right kick. And the minimum kick values have been set to zero, and the maximum kick values have been reduced from 30 to 5. So, guns in the game that have a certain, a certain maximum or minimum kick you can set a gun to always kick a certain amount or no you know no less than that amount and of course up to a certain amount so now there is no minimum kick required which means theoretically it can kick at zero it can do little to no recoil at all and the maximum value has been reduced from 30 to 5 so now it cannot kick more than 5 degrees it used to have the ability to kick all the way up to 30 degrees which is absolutely crazy and if you can't tell this is a whole ton of recoil reduction so it is an extremely accurate weapon and now, and the funny thing about it is you still get the same level of recoil reduction when you go crouched or prone as you did before, because sniper rifles in Advanced Warfare kick less when you crouch or prone, that's just coded into the game. So stacking on top of this, you basically have a laser, you have very, very minimal kick on each shot, especially when prone, and you're going to have to fight the idle sway a lot more than you're ever going to have to fight the, uh, the recoil. I talked about it a lot. Let me show you how that looks in practical purposes. This is me shooting standing up. I actually paused there for a second because I thought I was going to kick too high. But as you can see, it still kicks up. It's a little harsh while standing. Not nearly as bad as it used to be. Crouched is very, very easy to use. And if I go prone, I basically have a laser sniper rifle. I do this a lot. You can just spam these shots like mad and it is very, very accurate. But again, even when standing, it's a lot easier to follow up on shots than it used to be. It used to be by the time you've shot once or twice, you were already looking at the sky. Now you can actually spam it a little bit, kind of like it was meant to be used. It's far more useful in core. It was always a great weapon in hardcore. Absolutely always. Now it's way more useful. And personally, I think it's fantastic with the iron sights. I think the Lynx with iron sights is better than the Mark 14 because the Lynx with iron sights and silencer guarantees that you stay off the radar and it guarantees two shots to kill at any range because it deals 98 damage if the enemy has taken one or two grenades, one bullet from a teammate, fall damage, which somehow shows up in this game occasionally. Occasionally. If they've been nicked by an explosion, you can kill them in one shot, which happens pretty frequently. And I think that the Lynx plus Iron Sights is a very, very good way to use this. I do uh, Iron Sights and Silencer. Uh, silencer reduces muzzle flash and keeps me off the radar, and it doesn't really hurt the gun very much. And I also run stocks so that I can kind of check around corners and pop people. It gives me a little more mobility, makes me feel really good. You don't have to have it, but I would highly recommend it. And I'm going to tell you, if you use it like this, no, it's not a super weapon. No, it's not the best weapon in the game. You're not going to be dropping and DNA bombs, whatever, whatever, but it's fun. If you want to have that marksman rifle fantasy in advanced warfare, this is the way I would go with it. And if you're sniping, if you like silent sniping, this is easier now. And if you just like sniping in general, I would recommend using this in hardcore, though I don't know why you would use this when the AE4 just one shots all over the map anyway. Well guys, that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something useful. If you'd like to check out the previous episode that was on the Atlas 45 and PDW buffs, the next episode is going to be on the HBR A3 bare fist. Hope you like the thumbnail right there. And and as always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.